What is up, NFL fans? Welcome back to the channel, Rivas Talk Sports. Week three is finally in the books where we saw winless teams finally get their first win of the season and certain winless teams remain winless. But with that being said, in this video, I will be giving you my week four predictions. But the first game, Thursday night, Dallas Cowboys versus the New York Giants. The New York Giants finally got their first win of the season over the Cleveland Browns and the Dallas Cowboys lost back-to-back -back home games with their most recent one against the Baltimore Ravens. Within the last 14 meetings between these two teams, the Dallas Cowboys have won 13 of them. Brian Dable has yet to defeat the Dallas Cowboys, and Daniel Jones and primetime games don't really work well together. With that being said, give me the Dallas Cowboys money line. They come into MetLife Stadium pissed off from those back-to-back -back wins. Cowboys money line. Minnesota Vikings versus the Green Bay Packers. Both defenses have been on a very hot start. Brian Flores, psycho scheme defense. They currently lead the NFL in sacks. And defensive coordinator Jeff Hafley with his first season with the Green Bay Packers helps the Green Bay Packers lead the NFL in interceptions, takeaways, and turnover differential. It's up in the air if Jordan Love will play this weekend, but if he puts in a full week of practice, he should be ready to go. And Sam Darnold was a bit banged up in last week's game. I do expect him to be a full goal. With that being said, Matt LaFleur has experience with the Green Bay Packers back against the wall with the whole world going against them. We saw what happened against the Lions on Thanksgiving, against the Kansas City Chiefs, and the first round against the Dallas Cowboys. Believe this could be some type of a trap game, especially of how the Lions are, especially with the Vikings as underdogs. Give me the puncher's chance. Give me the Packers money line. Very tough divisional game, and it's going to be a very tough game for this undefeated Vikings team going into Lambeau in a divisional game. Packers money line. Cincinnati Bengals versus the Carolina Panthers. Andy, the Red Rocket Dalton, finally helps the Panthers get their first win of the season. And the Bengals, that was not pretty on Monday night against the Washington Commanders, but give me give me the Panthers. I know this is going against the grain, but Andy Dalton gives the Panthers a puncher's chance, and you don't know what you're getting with the Cincinnati Bengals when it comes to September football. I feel like they don't tend to turn it up until October, but Cincinnati Bengals and September, they don't work well. Give me Andy Dalton with the Carolina Panthers puncher's chance. Give me the upset Panthers at home. Denver Broncos versus the New York Jets. Broncos finally got their first win of the season against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And Aaron Rodgers turned into primetime Aaron Rodgers against the New England Patriots. Give me the Jets money line. Aaron Rodgers did not forget about what Sean Payton said about Nathaniel Hackett during his previous tenure as a head coach for the Broncos. I do not think that the Broncos stand a chance on this Jets defense, nor stand a chance against Aaron Rodgers, especially if it turns back the clock in this game. Give me the New York Jets money line. Jacksonville Jaguars versus the Houston Texans. The Jaguars are looking seriously cooked this season. They got embarrassed, obliterated, whatever synonym you have for the words I just said by the Buffalo Bills. They got murked on prime, t on prime time. And the Houston Texans suffered their first loss against the Minnesota Vikings. I can't choose the Jaguars at this point. Give me the Houston Texans money line. The Houston Texans have gotten their number against the Jacksonville Jaguars, and the Jacksonville Jaguars are starting the season 0-3. Their playoff chances are slowly dying. Season's looking cooked. Give me the Houston Texans money line. Pittsburgh Steelers versus the Indianapolis Colts. Justin Fields has been hot with the Steelers at quarterback. Undefeated 3-0, first in the AFC North, and the Colts finally got their first win of the season over the Chicago Bears. I am not going against the black and yellow Pittsburgh Steelers. I feel like with Justin Fields at quarterback, this change of scenery and this new organization for Justin Fields, he's playing safe football, mistake-free. The Steelers defense will cause havoc for this Colts offense. Steelers continue their undefeated season, 4-0. Pittsburgh Steelers, money line. 
New Orleans Saints versus the Atlanta Falcons. The New Orleans Saints lost to the Philadelphia Eagles at home. There goes their hot, undefeated streak. And then the Atlanta Falcons have gotten some crazy, crazy games the past few weeks. They just squeaked the W against the Philadelphia Eagles and squeaked the nail against the Kansas City Chiefs. With that being said, I do think the Atlanta Falcons win this game. Give me the Atlanta Falcons money line. I think this Falcons team is starting to get it together. The coaching, the play calling has been a bit iffy a little bit, but I think the Falcons get it together in a divisional game. Give me the Atlanta Falcons money line at home. Philadelphia Eagles versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The Buccaneers suffered their first loss of the season against the Denver Broncos, and the Philadelphia Eagles had a nice win against the do New Orleans Saints. Up in the air, if Devontae Smith will play, he did suffer a concussion. I would not be surprised if he sits this one out, but A.J. Brown is expected to come and play. He has not confirmed that he will be good to go, but I do expect A.J. Brown to be back in this lineup after two weeks off, and the Buccaneers are having some serious injury bugs with their defensive core. Yancey, Vea, Winfield, Give me the Philadelphia Eagles money line. If the Buccaneers' solid defensive core isn't healthy by Sunday, I had the Eagles winning money line, but it's not confirmed that they will play. So with what is reported right now, give me the Philadelphia Eagles money line. They win at Tampa Bay. Los Angeles Rams versus the Chicago Bears. Chicago Bears lost against the Indianapolis Colts. And the Rams had a surprising come from behind victory against the 49ers. The Los Angeles Rams are currently underdogs against the Chicago Bears. Between these two teams, give me the upset. Give me the Los Angeles Rams over the Chicago Bears. As long as Matthew Stafford is healthy, even though that the Rams have been decimated by injuries, I do believe that Matthew Stafford keeps his team alive in the game and squeak out a close win over the stingy Bears defense, and I do expect that Caleb Williams will probably make some rookie mistakes in this game to turn the ball over and let Stafford manage the clock and make some key throws to help the Rams win this upset. Washington Commanders versus the Arizona Cardinals. The Commanders looked really well against the Cincinnati Bengals, and the Arizona Cardinals suffered their loss against the Detroit Lions. Kind of have the battle of the throw of that quarterback. Give me the Arizona Cardinals. I think Kyler Murray will do Kyler Murray things in this game. I won't be surprised if Marvin Harrison Jr. gets himself a touchdown catch and Kyler Murray probably gets 200 passing yards, 100, 100 yards on the ground. Give me Kyler Murray. He defeats his former head coach, who is now the offensive coordinator of the Commanders. Give me the, give me the Cardinals at home. They defeat the Commanders. New England Patriots at San Francisco 49ers. The 49ers have been also been decimated by injuries. Last game, they had CMC out, Kiddo out, Debo out. It's been a tough hit for this 49ers team. Then the Patriots pretty much got out-muscled, out-classed, and out-coached against the New York Jets. I don't see a way of this 49ers team losing to the Patriots. Give me the 49ers money line over the New England Patriots. Kansas City Chiefs versus the Los Angeles Chargers. The Chargers have been suffering some injuries themselves. Justin Herbert is hurt. Slater is hurt. Joe All is hurt. There's a great chance that Bosa might not even play in this game. The Chiefs had a close victory over the Atlanta Falcons. You cannot be having some injuries to your team going against the Kansas City Chiefs. The Kansas City Chiefs. I've gotten their numbers against the Los Angeles Chargers. Give me the Kansas City Chiefs money line. I really don't see a way of this Chargers beating this Chiefs team. Chiefs continue their season undefeated, 4-0. Give me the Chiefs money line over the Chargers. Cleveland Brown versus the Las Vegas Raiders. This game is trash. This is pretty much the battle of the consistent inconsistence. I mean, I really can't choose between these two it's pretty much a coin flip especially with the money line at pretty much at the same odds um the browns lost to the new york giants and the las vegas raiders lost to the carolina panthers both teams lost to winless teams 
I guess give me the home field advantage. I don't care too much about this game, but give me the Raiders at home, I guess. So give me the Raiders money line. Buffalo Bills versus the Baltimore Ravens. The Bills embarrassed the Jacksonville Jaguars on primetime, and Josh Allen in primetime is a serious deal. He seems to shine bright when the spotlight is on him. And then we have the Baltimore Ravens. They finally got their first win of the season. They defeated the Dallas Cowboys. Lamar Jackson, the NFC killer, who now has 21 wins and three losses. The Ravens are going back home motivated. They know that they cannot lose pretty much. I'm not going to say pretty much lose again, but going down one win, three losses, and a very tough schedule, that's something that they're probably going to want to avoid. Then the Buffalo Bills come into this game undefeated. I like Josh Allen in prime time. They defeat the Baltimore Ravens at Baltimore. Josh Allen has been playing like an MVP candidate. This team has been playing really well together, especially with the amount of losses they've had on the offseason in offense and defense. Can't really go against the Buffalo Bills and Josh Allen on prime time. Give me the Buffalo Bills to defeat the Baltimore Ravens. Tennessee Titans versus the Miami Dolphins. I really can't pick this Titans team. Reckless Levis, he is pretty much one turnover away of probably being benched, getting the Bryce Young treatment, and Mason Rudolph coming back in. This Titans team is not looking good offensively. They have yet to win a game this season. Even though that the Dolphins don't have Tua at quarterback, I like the Dolphins' chances at home. I think they get a win over the Tennessee Titans. As long as Will Levis is quarterback at at this team, I really can't trust this team, especially how terrible that their right guard is. Um, give me the Miami Dolphins. No way I'm choosing the Tennessee Titans, especially with Will Levis at quarterback. Miami Dolphins money line. Last but, not, last but not least, the Seattle Seahawks versus the Detroit Lions. The Seahawks are undefeated in the Mike McDonald era, and the Detroit Lions defeated the Arizona Cardinals. The Lions are at home. They have been a great team at home. Give me the upset. Give me the Seattle Seahawks upset at Detroit. I think Mike McDonald continues his undefeated season with his new team, the Seattle Seahawks, and I can see the Seattle Seahawks pulling a shocking victory over the Detroit Lions. Give me the upset, Seattle Seahawks. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed the content, please give the video a thumbs up and comment below on your picks and your predictions for week four. Thank you so much and catch you guys next week.